Well, folks, uh, turns out I'm going to be doing a Minecraft Let's Play. Now, I have already cooked up the world just to save you the generation time. But, welcome to Buttfaceburg, a hardcore Minecraft survival Let's Play. Why am I doing this? Um, specifically because I got called out by uh, Brick Road to say, hey, why shouldn't, why, why don't you do a Let's Play? And then I was like, okay, yeah, I've been holding off on doing uh, any kind of Minecraft for like two or three updates at this point, so most of this is going to be all new to me. Uh, unlike Brick Road, I have a fancy new computer, so uh, I've been able to make my Minecraft look really pretty, and by that I mean I've installed exactly one, like, shader pack, and, uh, damn, if it doesn't look just the nicest. Now, mind you, this could also just be, uh, me not having played Minecraft for a couple of years, and, uh, yeah, we are, we're gonna be doing a survival Minecraft Let's Play. Um... Again, I haven't actually, like, poked anything at this world. I just generated it. Uh, spoilers, I generated a couple of worlds uh, before I actually started this one. Because uh, they were all jungle starts. And I didn't want to piggyback directly off of his series being like, Oh, we're two chuckle fucks in a jungle. Oh, look at how cool this is. Um, and, uh, and yeah. I have not poked at doing hardcore before. So I do not know the tips, tricks, and foibles. Um... I've been a fan of Minecraft since, like, the early, early days. I think I can mark the exact moment that I bought Minecraft was when they added furnaces. Before that, I remember watching Minecraft when you had to throw iron into lava and then it would pop out as an ingot. And then I would played on and off all throughout the, uh, all throughout the, like, official release and then I kind of fell off. Um, there was lots of changes, like, I haven't even seen the new stuff that they've added in to the nether, like, there's a bunch of new nether biomes, so I hear. Uh, first things first is I'm in desperate need of finding a sheep. So I'm gonna make my way, now that I have some wood, uh, down to that coast there in the distance... And hope that I maybe see a sheep in and along here. Yes! Hello, sheep. Hello, cows. Oh, yeah, that was not exactly what I wanted to do. You are going to become the beds for me. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. You know what? We're going to stick with it. We're going to stick with this skin that I put on as a joke on a different server. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to just rock and roll with it. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? You, my good sheeps, well, let's not wooden, let's not wooden sort it up. We're, we're going to need stone sooner or later. It would be best to get this out of the way while we're here. Do I have some exposed stone? Uh, I had some exposed stone in the distance there. No, that's gravel. I do know a little bit about mechanical changes here, how, like, I'm I'm doing a swim at the moment. Yeah, that's gravel. Shite. Ah, cave. Cave with some stone. And most definitely hostile mobs. But, like I said, I'm going to be playing this probably the dumb way. It will get me killed in interesting and fun and exciting ways rather than playing it the safe way where my series goes on for 500 videos. Um... I had joked... Yeah, motherfucker. I fucking called it already. I had joked with Brick, like, oh yeah, I've already recorded my uh, my hardcore Minecraft series. Uh, except it's an ultra-hardcore series where uh, if I die, I delete the video. Um, and then never upload it. And so you'll never get to see... Oh, I should have grabbed one more stone. Oh, well. Uh, sheep. Now, I need the white sheep, not the brown sh or the gray sheep. Because you will actually... So there's one. I wish I had iron for shears, but we're doing this the dumb way. One more sheep is all I need, but you get to stick around. Probably should pick up my crafting bench. Oh, I heard it. Well, maybe I just kill this sheep to get the uh, mob spawn back up, right? Like, that's the next, that's the next step, is just make sure that you're not alive. I don't know if there's a way to bleach wool or 
dye it back to white. There we are. Pleased to be dropping your last bit of... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so cave generation is the reason that I wanted to come back and play Minecraft. Because caves look cool now. I mean, they looked cool before, but they look... Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Don't take dumb damage. Don't take dumb damage is the name of the game. Having a bed is also important. Now. How now? How are we going to want to do this? So I don't actually feel like, you know, populating this area of the world just yet. Well, more cows over there is, is useful. I don't feel like settling down and putting in roots here. Oh, pumpkins could also be nice. I don't know. I do not know. You're terrifying for now. Uh, the other difference, again, for me being uh, safe, is I'm going to try and not use F3 for much more than, like, specific construction purposes. Refiguring out where my, like, initial spawn location is, uh, if I am trying to, if I get, like, in the nether and then trying to figure out where I'm going to pop out of the nether could be useful. I'm not going to put a hard and fast rule of no F3-ing or trying to figure out like what my Y level is uh, in case there is like differences in mining that I need to be uh, made aware of. So these are, and I've already lost my uh, workbench, which I thought was in and around this. Yeah, motherfucker, I heard you. I heard you and I know you're coming for my nuts. I heard you. Uh, where is you? <sighs> Getting noivous. Getting noivous already. I'm gonna need one of you, and I'm gonna need one of you. You're under me, and you're terrifying, and I don't like any of what I'm hearing. Okay. Start off with, burn you, get me some coal. From there, we're going to start making some meat. I don't remember if birch trees are going to drop uh, apples. But we do need to at least have some starting resources before I go off on my piratey adventure to find a cool starting area. Honestly, the mountain over there kind of looks neat. Oh, and I think that's actually like a whole bunch of stone flats off in the background. So maybe I need to uh, take a look into settling over there as well. Oh, maybe, maybe we do start where we're... Maybe we do have a uh, like starting zone uh, start. Normally I like to travel and try and find something interesting. But I mean, with the new terrain generation and all, I guess everything is is fairly interesting. Uh, that cool probably did end up happening already. Oh, it's making me nervous constantly. All right. That's at least going to get me some torches, correct? Do I turn that directly into torches? Again, I'm not entirely sure, like, what the protocol here is. The brick's already chomping my steeds on uh, on doing a setup that is a, a hole in the ground, doing a hobbit hole. I'm I really do appreciate playing Minecraft mostly as a dwarf. I don't like doing the big outdoor structures. I would prefer to hollow out a mountain and make it mine, um, extract all of its natural resources, and then craft it into my own like chamber of solitude. Minecraft is great to play with uh, with friends and all. I will give it that. But if I ever try and build something, it just ends up turning to be a big a big square. So turning it into like using the natural uh, natural generation of a mountain and and kind of making your own little uh, antechambers inside of that is is always more satisfying for me. 
Um, you're basically almost done. Right? And then that's going to be your last tick there. Okay. Now, please to be making me some meat. And soon it will become night. And I will need to not be here. Can't say I'm a fan of birch wood. I prefer dark wood. Oak, I think. Or maybe pine. Uh, for the look of for the for the look of it. I don't really like the the stuff that you can make with the uh, birch wood. It's it's a little too it's a little too bleached in my opinion. Yeah, okay. Uh, this has to be getting close to close to Betty by time. Can only sleep during night. I saw Brick make something called a campfire, which is well, uh, probably actually what I should be using instead, which apparently uh, just cooks meat for you. You don't need to use a furnace. So I should look into seeing what that was. Again, this is going to be kind of a, a strange companion series. I would definitely check out watching him and what he's doing. Um, whereas mine is going to be more fumbly and reactionary in regards to that. Yeah, it's got to be night by now. Pleased not to have been spawning the monsters. And I just spilled energy drink all over me because that was way fuller than I thought. God dang it. Got that. Um, I was pleased to be making a lot more coal while I got you here. And yes, how... How does one make a fire? Coal sticks and wood. Okay, well, take one of these and now make a fire. Well, would you look at that? Yep, absolutely. Just cooks, cooks meat, no need for coal ever. That's handy. That's going to be uh, very useful for starts. Mind you, you know, my starts already usually pretty set in stone. Or as it is wood. Um, let's just keep going until this runs out. And I also see those reeds over there. Reeds are important. Reeds get me paper. Paper gets me maps. But also, paper gets me uh, easy villager trading. Well, that cooks meat real fast. Damn. Okay. Heal me! So now that I've cleared out a good section of this forest... I think it is high time I go and take a look over there for that stone. Just see what's naturally spawning. Now, I have done a little bit... Oh, right, yeah, that's, that's where all the Zambos are. I for oh, and I should pick you up. I kind of need you on me at all times. I never want to be caught with my pants down. Again, there are some similarities between our play styles. Of, uh, nighttime is never a time that I want to be uh, doing anything with ever. I mean, it can be night while I'm underground, sure, but if I'm, if I'm poking my head outside, forget about it. Well, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get this whole tree cleared out. Yeah, there. Good, good. I didn't I didn't have to start a tree. We'll let that we'll let that naturally occur. So I've deforested the area a bit. I didn't get any apples, so birch trees must not drop apples. Um I mean, I'm heading over that way. So high time I made a boat. Oh right. Because I'd specifically said an oak boat, which is not one that I can make because it cycles through the things. Um. Do these hurt me? No. There are apparently some plants that when I walk into them can hurt me. I have poked at this like a little bit off camera, not in a hardcore world. Um just with uh just with friends on a server uh they had they had suckered me in but i haven't seen a lot of the new stuff that was only a, a short play session uh can you make food with i think you can make pumpkin pie which is something that i definitely want to do 
getting all kinds of distracted with resource gathering. So, let's see, where is it? Advancements, yes. I think I might look into doing a achievement run of this, or at least use the achievements to be giving me a sense of purpose. Because I haven't ever poked at the Minecraft achievements. So we will we will see. We will see how this all all shakes out in the end. Uh, shift, shift. Okay, there we are. Uh, sugar cane. Is there any other sugar cane in and around this area? No. Then let's bring you back to the banks where I am, and by that dangerous-ass cave, and plant two sugar cane to grow. Should probably cut down those trees, but I already didn't do that. Ooh, my boating is, is pretty rough. I am bad at doing a boat. Okay, yeah. Oh, and there's the fucking jungle in the background. Just can't escape it. Is there any exposed? Yes! I will take some exposed coal. Uh, where was I in my discussion? Well, this is all gravel, which is stuff I don't care about. Some more exposed gold. Yeah, that is a really cool mountain-looking thing. I may just go over and poke at that. Now, copper seems to be... Ooh, 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 I'm being dangerous. I'm in danger. Yeah, uh, copper seems to be very abundant. <laughs> and... Dang, yeah, I don't like any of what I'm doing. Copper seems to be abundant. Coal and all the spawning stuff seems to be wildly different from what I'm used to. There are mobs everywhere around here. I also did just dig straight down, which is dumb as hell to do. Uh, and yes. The one thing I'm not a big fan of about this resource pack is that... Oh, Jesus, this is a sunken ravine. is that water is very hard to tell, like, it's in depth and is almost invisible underwater. The other problem is that torches in my hand will give off light. Which is definitely a different way to play it, I'll, I'll admit that. So I'm going to have to, like, relearn what my, uh what my ore distributions are, what's a good thing to be doing for either strip mining or exploring in caves, which is most certainly how I will end up dying. I should be getting a lot of... Ah, iron, good. The other noticeable change that I've seen, which was pointed out to me by a friend, is that because all ores are now dropped as nuggets instead of as blocks, all ores end up being subject to fortune, which means that you you have a reason to be using your fortune pick on basically every natural resource. I'm like, oh, you know, I never would have thought of it that way. But yes. So now fortune just becomes even more valuable and even more applicable outside of just using it on diamonds. So I'm going to need to go and grab me a fortune mending pick. And I don't actually know, I have not poked into how to do villager trading or how to do, uh, uh, like, advanced enchantments or, like, enchanting books or, like, what the actual good levels for doing these sorts of things are. Uh, I will need to either read up on this or, most likely... Uh, learn about it secondhand from people. So, information is more than welcome. There is no amount of backseating that I'm going to poo-poo at. Uh, I will appreciate any kind of feedback. I will even listen to you uh, 
uh, if you tell me that it's going to be beneficial for me to spend 60 hours and grind up to level 30 or whatever. Uh, I will I will take that advice, and I will do my own thing with it, but I would still want you to let me know why that would be beneficial, and then I can weigh the pros and cons. So we do just have jungle wood out here. I can just fuck around in a jungle if I want. Cool. For right now, though, we are just looking for naturally spawning resources. Specifically, I want more iron. Lord knows I am a slut for iron. The other thing is, do not come to this series, uh, which I should have let off first, uh, if you're looking for family-friendly Minecraft. Uh, I refuse to not say the naughty words. The naughty words are too much fun to say. They are a permanent part of my vocabulary, and I will be damned if I ever let them go. Uh, did I pick up my boat? I didn't. So I'm gonna actually... Oh, and I do think I see I missed some iron over here. Yes. I also have a bad habit of wasting my food because I like to, uh... The one, the one difference between, uh... Between being a, a pure dwarf and what I like to do is I also like to have a, uh, fairly thriving farm. Um, I'm big into breeding books... Uh, book breeding is incredibly useful. Again, it's for uh, enchanting and uh, villager trading purposes. Um, I haven't poked at, at that much. I don't know the efficient way of doing it. I do know, though, that uh, that is how you get the, the fans fantastic, wonderful upgrades. Yes. Uh, it's getting dark, and I don't want to be, uh, be here. I shouldn't leave a hole open like that, or that, but I already did. Chay, 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 chay. Get me over here. There we are. Figure out my controls, and then sleep in a bed. Ah, and I can see my original spawn. Er... At least where I have decided to uh, to set up shop. Okay, from across the way, don't forget your bed. It's going to be important that you don't lose that because you don't have that many sheep left. And I haven't gotten a lot of stone, did I? I picked up some stone. But yes, coal is going to be my most important resource next to uh, next to iron at the moment. The, the sooner I get fully kitted out in full iron armor, the better. Because right now I am running around naked. And I have lost a pick. Which is unfortunate. Uh, nope, nope. Back out, back out, turn around, and we're off again. I do need to go and make a shield, right? And the original base, I can see the smoke, which is over here. You're docked correctly. Okay, I don't have any more meat for you. Which means we need to do that. And coal gets to turn into... A full stack of torches. And... Do I want to start... Man, yeah, you get a lot of copper. And not a lot of iron. Which is a problem. There we go. Now I am safe from skeletons. Relatively. Relatively skeleton safe. What else? Yes, you're done. You go in there. Actually, you take the whole darn thing. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Honestly, a sword would be a good idea. But an iron pick sounds more appealing. In case I do find something that needs an iron pick for. 
and we make another stone pickaxe. We honestly make two stone pickaxes. Oh, I've already forgot to make the correct. There we are. Two more. Just the one more. Okay, back to exploring the outside here, hoping to find some more iron, although it seems unlikely. Can you not? Can you turn around? There we are. And yeah, I think this might just be like a mountain that is surrounded by this little like river leading into the ocean area. Uh, so I parked my buttocks over here. How much iron do, or uh, copper does one really need, right? Like, it's useful for experience, I guess, but. It seems to be fairly abundant and not particularly used in a lot of crafting, so I may just not pick up too much more of it. Like, it might be a, a junk a junk spawn. But you can never have enough stuff to smelt with, though. Unfortunately, coal is still a required resource. Uh... I'm not missing anything over there. But it's like I see the ore and I'm like, oh, I need it. I just need it. It's the next most important thing. It's not just craft craft, it's Minecraft. And what what's the point of mining if not to uh, if not to extract resources? Yeah, terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Should not be allowed to wander these, uh, wander these shores alone. Yeah, we are GTFOing here. Oh, and there's a bunch of... Now that's going to be a pain to excavate, I think. Well, not too bad for now, as long as I'm standing on something. Use my lanky arms what they're there for. Now, going down in the water, yes. Now I'm underwater, now my head is submerged, so all of a sudden my mining gets so much slower. I'm just going to do a brief trip around here to see what I can see. Come with me, why don't you? How dare they stuck me? Stop for the coal while we're here. Ah, I don't think you'd escape me that easy. Ooh, and you're a bit of a vein too. Well, only a bit. Fine. This nugget spooks me. It 
indeed very spooked. Oh ho ho ho! All right, okay. Mad respect. For the night, need to sleep. There we are. Also, need to go and grab those reeds over there. Very important. I do believe that was all of them. And continuing on. You as well, come with me. Now I'm a little concerned, actually. This doesn't go all the way through to where I was initially. It does look like we've actually ended up landlocked here. So this continues on. But I think were I to cut through here, I'd end up on where I've already seen. So I think this is what we're going to do. No reason why not to. <laughs> ah, yes, and dark wood, as I was already saying. Kind of my favorite, uh, favorite wood for building. Just it's it accents stone so nicely, which is when I'm. Oh, oh, mine's. Did I get caught in snow? Did that update weird or something? Uh oh. Yes, though maybe I have found a reason to not be in snow. Seems to be quite slowing me down. Huh. Well, already come this far. I swear this comes out to water on the other side, right? Hell. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end of me. <laughs> Things I didn't know about. Things that I was worried. Dear Jesus. Okay. All right. Don't fall in. I did it again. I fucking did it again. I'm fucking worried. What? I'm hearing shit. God damn. I am legitimately. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, son. Well, hell's bells. Turns out, snow's fucking dangerous. <laughs> A 
I have made a huge mistake. I have made a huge mistake. Get me out of here. At least you can kind of breathe, but what the hell? This is not good. I don't like any of what just transpired. Okay, turns out we do not want to be building on snow. That's danger and bad. You know, I was fairly certain what I'd explored was, like, ocean-locked, right? But here I am, just running through the friggin', well, not the jungle, but you know what I mean. Finding diddly and squat. Now you, you can't be of any use to me. Cows, pig pigs are just for food. I mean, technically also for riding, but... Y'all get y'all get to be murdered. You are soon to be fuel. Even chickens are more useful. I can breed you for feathers. You can turn into arrows. Pigs, you ain't got leather. You ain't got nothing for me but food, glorious food. It's a whole day of walking around, ain't seeing shite. Now, this is why I should have just bitten the bullet. Bitten? Bitten the bullet. That's what I decided to say with my mouth. And, uh, and walked back in the initial direction. Already left so much cool stuff in the background. Okay, sleeping under the stars again. Hearing lava pop in the background. I guess what we do, I guess we just bite the bullet rather than Exploring Morin. Can I? There we are. Thank you, Run. Let's figure out a place to actually settle. And here is as good a place as any. We do have some resources on us. We're missing others, but, you know. No reason not to. Bring me to the top of your cool mountain. And I will get off and just say goodbye to... Yeah, you know... All things considered, no reason not to have a cool mountain base, right? The snow, bit of a problem. I've learned to respect it. Good lord have I learned to respect the snow. But we shall start hollowing this out. We shall start making this... Uh, New Buttsburg. Or actually, I guess this is just Buttsburg. But expect a new Buttsburg to come any day now when I get ganked by a monster. I would assume shovel is probably the right way to use with snow, but I'm already not doing that. Already haven't done. I just saw... Yeah, you. You're here. Well, that's actually a fairly, fairly decent amount. Yeah, I'm hearing all the, the grumbly monsters. Grumbly monsters who want my nuts. They're going to have to wait in line for all the other grumbly monsters who want my nuts. Uh, light, if you don't mind. And you just stay as is. <laughs> I'm in danger! Yep, found all the grumbly monsters, holy shit! <laughs> let's, uh, let's not.
and say we didn't. Big ol' let's not and say we didn't. Okay. Why am I wanting to climb to the very top of the mountain? Innate instinct of humans. These big thing wants to be on top of it. This isn't this isn't the This isn't so different from where I was where I was initially, right? It's looking alright. Maybe with a spyglass I'll be able to figure out where I went. But not today. Not today. Uh well. Time to restart the starting. No time like the present to start starting. Decided that this mountain is going to make my home. That means one of the yules. One of these old ones. You have got to be shitting me. Thunderstorms. Really? Really? While well, I am on the tallest part of a mountain, surrounded by trees. Yes, no, this is exactly what the doctor ordered. This is... this is the smart thing to be doing at this time. Getting into a thunderstorm on a mountain. Technically, it's a snowing thunderstorm. God! God damn it! Little did I know that there was, like, weather, or not necessarily weather effects, but, like, oh, I guess it's it's making it look like as if, because of the shader pack, as if it's, like, rain slicked. Arr. 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 We'll see. We shall see how this all does. Uh, oh, I can sleep during a thunderstorm, right? And then that will make the thunderstorm stop thundering. Because it says you can only sleep during thunderstorms or during, uh, during the night. Yes! Haha! Never mind. I've solved the problem. So I'm going to want to start a farm down there. There are there were caves around me. But for right now, I do kind of want to just level this a little bit. Ah, which is going to mean taking a... Oh, I don't have... You. I'm hearing stuff crinkling around me, and that's worrisome. Anyways, I'm down there. Yeah, you will start to be farmland over that way. And you... Let's see. kind of just want to level you out a little bit. Well, that's a bit more level, but, you know, there's still all this stuff up top here. And I found some iron. And I found some of this green stuff. Anyways, let's make this also disappear. Well, we're almost there. Just the last little bit. You dealing with this stone. And I basically went through all of the uh, shovels that I'd made. And there. We've completely cleared... You have got to be kidding me! I left one. Alright, motherfucker, you're coming with me. And this is how I die. Anyways, this has been a clearing of a mountaintop. With me, your host. Me. Okay, enough of that. And this is what my chest looks like after I have completely uh, plundered that mountain. Uh, minus the uh, bit of uh, iron and things I want to go and grab. Uh, let's see. You can go back in. Damn. 
full ass inventory. Oh, and I don't even have a crafting bench in here yet. Okay. All right. Let's let's sort this out. Let's figure out what I'm supposed to do with all my snow. Much more condensed. Much more condensed. Okay. Snow. And a solitary ball. Goodbye. Damn, you're going. You just going. All right, all right. Okay. Time to organize an inventory and take stock. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense to my mind. Just a little. Actually, why don't I move you back up there? All right. So, what do I need to do to start actually building here? We're going to need some more furnace happening. Just the one for now. Um, which means I can start cooking you with some koal. Get me a little bit more food. Ah, damn it. Should have been doing that with a uh, with a fireplace or campfire or whatever the fuck it was called. But I'd already not done that. Uh, but I can go and save that, I guess. Uh -huh. Put you in there. Take you... Oh, well, nope. Wasted that. There. Let's get that up and running. One more time. Oh, but I also need coal in my inventory. Campfire needs actual wood blocks. Uh, I'm gonna use you. No, because you're, you're less abundant than what I have around me right now. Fire! Had to sneeze! Oh, where are you? So, yeah. You go on here. Make some bacon. Do you want to keep some food on me? Now. I'm making iron. So I will have more iron on me. I should always have my bed on me. Let's see. What is our next step? I'm going to need some buckets, that's for sure. Did I finish you off? I did. Maybe we should put a backdrop here just so that the uh, things from the campfire don't pop off. We already started to figure out what we're doing? Maybe, maybe not. But we'll find out. Now, if you fall onto the campfire, I'm not sure. Do items do items that fall onto the campfire... No, I burn, but the items don't. Damn it, damn it. Okay, all right. Things, things you learn. We should keep our sword on. We should keep our picks. Yes. And I still need to grab this, so we might as well, while I got stuff cooking. While we got you cooking. Ruining my perfectly flat surface. What more iron tools could I possibly have, or want, or need? And you, I'm going to assume, required a pick there, yes. All right. Oh, I do have plenty of stone in my chest. Which I'm going to keep on me. Oops, over there. Did you all pop off now, finally? Yes. Then I can put you in here. And we're solid. We are solid. Don't have a lot of excess coal, which is fine for now. What do I want to do next? Right, I was filling up these holes. Honestly, not sure why I'm filling it completely, but I am. 
And then I need to make a trip down to the plains to go and start work on some wheat production. Honestly, do I feel like making the farm down there, or do I want to trek all my stuff back up here? That's going to be the real kicker of it. Minor jump cuts every time I have to blow my nose. Damn it. Okay. You're good. You're good. You're good. And I guess I start working on a way down, which would make more sense if I were to do it. Uh, wait for that and then throw on... I get another get another pick it will be useful uh, da, 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 da. my other one's about to break I'm about to break you're not actually setting just yet you are finished Benito Dunzo and bring me some torches anything else I need to bring me Dirt for building blocks, just in case. And yes. Start work on a way down. Actually, going to start work on a way down here. Here. Yep, that was bound to happen. Start our staircase up to the mountain base. So the staircase hit a bit of a snag in that a uh, cliff happened. Sure. Gonna have to figure out a way to make Cliff not happen. Which I think is gonna actually involve, like, ladders. And also, iron. Found me some iron. Found me some more iron. God dang, I'm not gonna complain about finding me some iron. I am gonna have to start smooth stone production, though, at some point here. So that I will be able to uh, to fancy this up naturalistically. Because while I do not necessarily care too much about the uh, the build in Minecraft, the, uh, I do I do like the aesthetic of just oh, and you know just before something spawns in there, it would be a good idea to not have it there. And I made more snow unbeknownst to me. No, Schneeweiser. Two balls this time. One for you, and one for you. You live there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll let you finish cooking. Honestly, I've just got all this iron sitting on me. I really should just make myself a suit, right? Uh, embrace become Iron Man. Where did I put that all? Yeah, there we are. Oh, did I not actually put it on me? Nope, nope, I didn't. I already didn't do that. Well, and I don't know why I'm looking up what my, uh, my outfit needs to be. I make one of these. Uh, cauldron, I guess. Make one of these. A little short. There we are. Ah, goodbye, mate outfit. Hello, full iron armor. Damn it! <laughs> Never mind. Don't listen. Uh, ladder is a bunch of sticks. Bunch of sticks. Bunch of sticks. You, I guess, I will turn you into sticks. Let's see if you're going to be enough for that. And I guess while I'm at it, I want to leave those trees there, but these trees behind me. Well, get down to get down to mainland and then I'll make turn all that stuff into uh Can I survive a drop like this? Yes. Yes. And we're fine. We're fine. Don't don't even don't even worry too much about it. Now, you definitely are going to need to be 
covered completely as far as I'm concerned. My dude, I hear you all around, and I don't want to have any... Yeah, you you got to be down there. Caves. I hate it, but I love it. It's clenched on the edge of my seat. Heal up. Absolutely clenched. Might as well mine out the, uh... Mine out the coal while I'm here, right? Yeah, see, look at how much coal you get when you actually are, like, up in the air on a mountain now. I think coal's, like, generation stats are inverted from what they used to be, where, like, the higher up you are, the more co coal you'll find. And then lower down, you'll find less and less and less until eventually you just stop finding coal entirely. I hear monsters all around. I don't know where they're coming from. Absolutely terrifying. Okay. Um, I don't need you on my hotbar. I do need you in there. But right, I am, I am now ironed up. Monsters are less terrifying, but still to be respected. I don't know why digging straight down was the smart idea that I had for myself, but it was. You are the Jabronis. Okay. I know I'm going to at least ladder this far down. Oops, break my legs. Which is always a worry on ladders. Gotta love breaking your legs. There we are. But breaking my legs doesn't hurt so much now that I'm in full iron, I guess. Okay, got that. Uh, another shovel is needed. And I can top you back up. And... Well, that's just silly. It's just silly. The silliest darn thing just happened. Now, what do I want to make? Yeah, you know what? Since I'm in the snow, I will actually turn you into a birch bridge, basically. I think that'll look cool. And I should do a sleep while I can. Yeah, I gotta start making some actual, some actual, like, a smooth stone. Very little actual base setup at the moment. I guess I could dirt you on the side while I'm here. While I'm here waiting for the night. Little bit safer from falls than what I was before. Still spooky coming off, but it works. Now, I don't have any fancy stones what to make an actual staircase up here for. But that is a problem for later. Right now, probably actually best to make cobble. Yeah, yeah. 